Hey guys! So it is day one of the Big Tubeathon, and it is currently 10 a.m. I just got back from my dentist appointment, and I actually found out that my favorite dentist has moved to North Carolina. So I was a little disturbed about that, but the dentist I ended up seeing, he was really nice. So <laughs> I'm okay. It's really funny because before my favorite dentist was my favorite dentist, there was someone else who was my favorite dentist. Um, he actually moved away two years ago, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, who's gonna be my dentist next, you know? Because I was so comfortable with my old dentist that I didn't want to be seen by anyone. And next thing you know, I'm being seen by this guy, and he becomes my favorite dentist, and then he moves away too. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me. But that's enough about my dentist issues. It's book tubeathon day one, so I'm gonna try to knock out as many challenges as I can. I do have some work to do today, as well as some household chores, so I'm not really sure how much reading I'm gonna be able to do. And I'm also not sure if I'm gonna be able to do the outside reading challenge because it's been raining the last few days here and it looks like it's about to rain, y'all, so. Look at that. The clouds are moving in, guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm probably gonna try to do the outside reading challenge tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow. <laughs> Also, the video challenge for day one has already been posted by Jessie the Reader, and so I'm probably going to be doing that a little later. But as for now, I'm going to go into the house. I'm going to get out of this hot car because I don't even know. It feels like it's like 90 degrees outside, but I guess I will see you guys soon. as long as I wanted it to and I apologize for the lighting I'm in my messy garage but um, yeah I actually remembered that I have to ship a package because I sold something online so I'm going to prepare my package right now and then put it in the mailbox and then maybe I'll try to get some more reading time in so I got my packages out I just finished doing some laundry and it is lunchtime so I'm gonna go eat Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> my nine-year-old brother Joshua makes the most perfect omelets. Oh, and it had some Gouda on it. It was so nice. <laughs> but now, I'm gonna get back into this book. I fell asleep for two hours and I didn't get any reading done, so we're gonna try this again. <laughs>
the baby. Oh, I was about to sit down and read, but then a Twitter challenge started, and I'm super late. Um, you basically have to create a poem using words from the last page you read. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I just finished my poem, and unfortunately, I didn't finish before 6.15, which is when the contest ended. But I came up with something really nice. So I came up with, only embers of fire still bright looked a picture of tears. I wish I could have finished in time for the contest, but you know, whatever, maybe the next one. Yeah, but now I'm gonna go read cause I need to get some more reading in. So it is the end of the day and I am exhausted. I think I only sat down for like 30 minutes to read and then I had to get up and do some laundry, clean up some stuff, work, and then we had dinner and now it's just, it's really late. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I think overall I probably read about 60 pages, so I didn't complete as many pages as I wanted to have completed by the end of the day but you know there's still tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and you know the rest of booktubeathon week oh I just feel like I'm failing <laughs> because I didn't even do the video challenge for today I like ran out of memory and I feel so bad so yeah I'm just gonna wrap it up here because I need to get ready for bed and I'm probably gonna do some reading before I actually go to sleep Hopefully I'll be able to do some damage then, but uh, I guess I'll just see you guys next time. Oh. Uh -huh.